without Hieronymus in the money to be sold of Greece. One of the main teachings of the Upanishads is the impermanence of our world. As we go through life, we think we know who we are. We, we identify with our gender, with our nationality, with our name, with our profession, with our body, with our community. We forget that who we are changes every second. Who we are now is not who we were yesterday, is not who we were a week ago, not who we were as a child. Our daily impressions, our daily experiences continuously shift who we are and that impermanence is a blessing that impermanence is what gives us and everyone the opportunity to continuously improve to always strive to become better so that we can actually become who we are capable of becoming. So this cliche, you are perfect the way you are, does not come from the Upanishads. The Upanishads teach us to respect the impermanence of life and to always strive to become better. This impermanence of life does not only apply to human beings, it applies to nature. These rocks, this water did not look like this hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, millions of years ago. The Upanishads say that the only thing that's certain and permanent in this existence is uncertainty and change. Another one of the main ideas of the Upanishads is the concept of Dharma. Dharma translates to duty or obligation. Every creature in this universe has a purpose, a duty, an obligation. This purpose may, go, may change as we go through life. We talked earlier about the impermanence. But at every stage of our life, we must be following, fulfilling our obligation to ourselves, to our community, to the higher power. Not fulfilling our obligation is what actually causes misery and suffering. Fulfilling our obligation in life is actually really simple. All it takes is having enthusiasm as you go through your day. As a matter of fact, having enthusiasm when you wake up in the morning, 
as you go through your day and as you go to bed at night. Enthusiasm comes from the Greek word enthusiasmos. It means having God within. Comes from the prefix en, en, which means within, and the word theos, which is the Greek word for God. So in order to fulfill your dharma, according to the Upanishads, you must live with enthusiasm. Without enthusiasm comes misery.